Hello, you fellow musicians and gamers out there. This is Kwana Gamer here, and I'm here with a brand new Let's Play. And this is the one. <coughs> Sorry, a great introduction there. But this is the one that I said that I would be doing, and it is Crash Twin Sanity. I'm so looking forward to playing this. So, anyway, let's press start, and we'll start a new game. Now, I do apologize for the cough there, right there, but I'm currently recovering. <coughs> Sorry, I'm currently recovering from a cold. At the moment, but it's not too bad. I'm still able to talk, and uh, I'm my nose isn't stuffed or anything. But anyway, enough about colds. Anyway, so I'm going to save over this one. Yes, I will definitely overwrite this one. Now, my plan for this let's play is, um, and I'll just uh, get the cutscene view just now. Alright then, so that was the first cutscene of Crash Twin San A, so let's get this started. So we've got an auto save feature now. Now, as I was saying, my plan for this Let's Play is I'm going to try and get 100% the best I can. And by that I mean I'm going to try and get all the gems you can see there. There's the first gem, the red gem. Now again, you go to your standard controls. Now these nitros here, <clears throat> they'll kill you in one hit, no matter how many Aku Aku masks you have. Even if you're invincible, you'll still die to the nitros. Which is kind of bad, but anyway. So, to get the red gem here, what you need to do is you need to chase the chickens, which is what I'm doing here, uh, which I'm showing off. You need to chase them into the nitros. Well, not every single one of them anyway, but... <clears throat> into these ones here, specifically with the steel crates. So... Oh, goodness me, okay. Eventually, I'll get these chickens to go in here. Come on, chickens. You know you want to go into those nitros. Oh, great, never mind. Come on, chickens. Get over there. Get, get, no, no. Well, this is a great start already. Oh, wait a minute. I can lure them into... Come on. Don't go into the beach. There's no time for chickens on the beach. It's chickens into nitro's time. Come on. Oh, a glitch through the fence. Oh, yeah, this game... Right, there we are, finally. Well, I actually got rid of every single Nitro crate, which is not what I intended, but anyway, that's the red gem. And Crash does a spin attack, double jump, and you got body slam. Obviously. <laughs> I, I know, I really shouldn't like sew off the, you know, the basic controls here, but that's, that's what Crash Bandicoot is. I mean, what? Well, I actually know. <clears throat> Might as well just show them off anyway. But anyway, Crash Twin Sanity. Might as well talk about this game. It's my second favourite game in the Crash Bandicoot series, without a doubt. It's behind Crash Bandicoot 2. But no, I just want to body slam here. Get these boxes. Actually, I want to see what's up that waterfall there. I'm not sure if there's any gems up there. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, sorry, I just needed to, like, uh, uh, get rid of that there. Well, not get rid of anything, but I needed a cough there. But anyway, there are six gems in this level. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just exploring about getting a bit familiar with the levels again. Now, I believe the second gem is up here. And you go up here. Allow this to slide over there. And the next gem should be over here. But what I like about this game is the fact that it's kind of... Not like that, but anyway, it's not... It's kind of like open world based in a way. Even though it's not fully open world. Which is what 
Now, interestingly enough, Traveller's Tales are the same company that d developed uh, the Rafa Cortex. They wanted Rafa Cortex to look something like this. And I thought to myself, that would have been excellent if they had done something like this for the Rafa Cortex. But it's just unfortunate that they didn't have enough time to finish off the game. They were hardly given any time. And the Rafa Cortex, well, I mean, like I mentioned in my Let's Play of it before, it's really, it's, well, a lot of people are too harsh with it, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, here's Aku Aku giving his explanation of what he does. It is I, Aku Aku. My duty is to protect you. You may summon me by breaking open these crates. Call me thrice, and I shall grant you special powers. Okay, thrice. Thrice? Come on, where's the special powers? Oh, you're just glowing. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> I just thought I'd say thrice, just for a laugh. Thrice, just for a laugh, because... Well, oh, yep, and there's a Coco, well, aka Cortex. <laughs> I found it funny as well, I might as well comment on that first cutscene that was being shown off. I found it funny how, when Cortex had his uh, gun out, his zapper, he had the different settings for it, like stun, put, like Coco on fire or killer. And he thought to himself, hmm, no, death is too grim for this. It's a kid's game after all. So I liked how Cortex was doing that. Like, it's like, no, I'm not doing death here. And what I'm trying to do here is, this is how to get the third gem for Insanity Beach here or Insanity Island. Alright, so you just need to uh, launch bombs at these uh, uh, totem poles, I think. Or these statues that are sticking their tongue out at us. Like, bleh. I don't have my face cam on, so you can't. You didn't really see my tongue there, but I just thought I'd make a sound impression of one. But anyway, <clears throat> this is where the blue gem is. It's just on top of this last statue there. Okay, yeah, and if you fall from from a bit of a long height, you do end up uh, falling on your back. But do a kip up like uh, Shawn Michaels does. That's what uh, crashes. Shawn Michaels, nah. <laughs> But anyway, let me just pause and take a look here. Oh wait, no, not yet. Go back on the sunny beach. Right, so there's three gems that are not in this area, so... I've not quite got all the gems yet, but there are other areas to go into to get the rest of the gems. Now, we're into the next level, Jungle Bungle. Now, the first gem is over here. Now, you can see this bomb and the statue here. What you need to do is roll that bomb into them. Crap. Okay, does that bomb respawn at all? Please tell me it responds. Okay, I think I may have to leave the level and go back to it. You, you're kidding me. It, that bomb doesn't respawn? Okay, right, I think I'm going to have to, like, uh, move that. I'm hoping that this will not... Right. Launch the bomb there. Crap, I might as well just... That didn't go according to plan. Right, sorry about this. This is this is a great start so far. I've... I've not... Oh, goodness me. Uh, okay, right. Sorry about this, guys. I'll need to get that bomb. So, I just need to do this for a moment. I might have to cut this here, actually. Uh, if, if I'm struggling here. Okay, right. Let's be quick about this. Oh, no, 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 you're ki You can't... Oh my god, right, okay, guys, sorry about this, but now that we are back here... Sorry about that, guys, just had to do a bit of a cut there. I tried to do an impression of Aku Aku there, so, you know, I might as well put that in the bonus uh, at the end of the video, right? Okay, now let's be very, very careful here, and quickly put that in the mouth. No. Oh my god, are you serious? I, I hope I don't have to cut that for a second time there. Okay, right, no, 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 don't start glowing red. No, no, come on, bomb. Don't do this to me now. Right, there we are. Success. Right, anyway, as I was going to say, but after I cut that and did my really silly Aku Aku impression, I've now got the yellow gem. That's how to get the first gem of Jungle Bungle. I might turn that down a bit because that's a bit loud. And that's on the lowest uh, volume setting possible now. So anyway, now that I am at Crash's house, 
Might as well explore this, actually. Hmm. There's nothing there, but I might as well just uh, show it off anyway. Right, these world crates save your progress, so it's not all saving data. So, now we trigger the next cutscene here. Come on, follow me, Crash! Stay close and do what I do! Will do, Coco. I, I mean, Cortex or wherever you, wherever you are. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so square to spin the course. Then you go. Now, this is a poor demonstration right here. Press X twice to double jump. You failed, Cortex. You failed the demonstration. Go back to school. It's double tap X to double jump. You didn't double jump. Like this. Squash skunk. That's how the double jump. Now, as you can see, the one prefer here doesn't really make that much of a sound effect when you collect it. Or as you heard, should I say. It's easy! All too easy. Yep, I agree with you there, Cortex. It's all too easy. <laughs> I was going to quote something from Star Wars there, the Emperor, uh, sorry, The Empire Strikes Back when Darth Vader said that quote, like, all too easy, and he said, perhaps you're not as strong as the Emperor thought. I'm trying to think of a Crash Bandicoot reference where that would have happened, but I don't know. I'm being a bit random now. <laughs> Alright then, so... Now, this is how to get the next gem. It's a bit of a long process, this, but it still gets the job done. So you need to roll these bombs into the totem pole, or the statue's mouths. See... I think they're totem poles. I'm not sure. Maybe I said that wrong the first time. Maybe they are totem poles. Now, this next one is quite tricky. You have to really get your shot right in. Slide it right into the mouth. Nice! Okay, so it doesn't have to directly be in the mouth as long as it's close to it. Oh, that's fine. So that's the hardest one taken care of. Right. Okay, right, you know, screw that. Roll that in the water. That was a failure. So that might go, that, that clip there that I cut there, that might go in a wee bonus footage at the end. Uh oh, oh, roll in the mouth quick. There we are. So if it, if it starts glowing red like that, you've got nothing to worry about. As long as you keep rolling it, it won't explode on you, as far as I know anyway. But yeah, this game itself, the game isn't perfect in terms of like the gameplay. And what I mean by that is, this game is very glitchy, and that is an understatement to describe that. I honestly can't tell you guys like how many glitches I have heard about, encountered, or seen myself. So that's how to get the clear gem. Now, <clears throat> at the end of this video, I can actually, at the end of the session, should I say, I can show you what the, the features, like these gems, unlock. So now we jump on here and we get the purple gem. Now these first couple levels are quite easy to get the gems, but they do get harder as they go along. This level here is kind of like a tutorial level in a way. Now interestingly enough, the Aku Aku Mask hasn't turned gold or anything, it's still sparkling, but there's no golden effect to it. Now, I was thinking to myself here, right, let's just demonstrate what Cortex did, and spin that enemy. There we are. But, in the Crash Bandicoot 1 game, like in Crash Bandicoot 1, I remember seeing Crash Bandicoot 1 prototype, I think. The Aku Aku Mask was like this. Like in, in the Crash Bandicoot 1 prototype. Ah, speaking of Crash 1, a classic enemy. And he's gone. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, the, the Venus Flytrap, or the monster sized Venus Flytrap. No. Ah, <laughs> Oh, wow. Definitely rest in peace. He got buried into the ground. <laughs> oh god, <wait. coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, th this is already making me laugh already. Like, that guy got literally buried in the ground. Alright, these worms here. Are you? <laughs> it's true. Blondes do have more fun. I'm not sure whether that's true or not. Blondes do have more fun. I'm not sure about that, if that's true. Now, the next gem here, many people might not see this, but the next gem, if you jump on top of the worm here, the green gem is right here. Now, I never knew that until I saw a walkthrough of this game. So for those of you who are look, were looking to get 100%, and you didn't know where that green gem was, there you go, that's what it is. 
Right, here we go. Now, the next gem is a bit hard because you've got to bounce on these crates here. Now, oddly enough, I remember in the original Crash games when the, the bouncing crates were like this with the steel crates, the, if you got crushed in between them, you would die. Now, in this game, you don't die. So, there's the red gem from Jungle Bungle. And alternatively, I could just collect these boxes if I want to, to gain more lives, but I don't want to do that. There's plenty of opportunities for me to earn lives. Okay, so let's body slam that one and just move on. And there's the blue gem. So I believe... Is that all the gems for this uh, for this level? It might very well be. A <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, uh, I... I I don't really mean to keep coughing like this, but anyway, yeah, that's all the gems for Jungle Bungle. So 3% there. Now, I think what I'm going to do, actually, is since uh, I might cover two levels in this part as kind of like a start and see what people think of this Let's Play so far, depending on how long the levels are, I might do like one level per part, perhaps. So anyway, now I just need to just go through the rest of the level, but... What I also love about this game as well is the soundtrack. Oh, the soundtrack is amazing. The acapella that they use, like the instrumentation is acapella. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm okay. The spikes broke my fall. Oh my god. The first time I saw that cutscene, that really made me laugh. It still uh, makes me laugh to this day of how hilarious that cutscene is. That is the definite sign of failure there, Cortex. But anyway, uh, there is another cutscene here. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, you! I've been doing this for ten stinking years! Back and forward, back and forward, and I'm sick of it! Well, I'm not gonna do it no more! You're not? You're just tapping your feet like, I'm waiting! Well, whatever. Well, you're not gonna do it no more. Well, you're certainly not, because you just got exploded into nitros. I'm not sure if that was a bit of a reference to like Crash 1, because I remember there were so many skunks in Crash 1. Oh, and... Ah, you're me, Venus Flytrap. You killed me in Crash 1. Stop looking behind you, Crash. You killed me in Crash 1. Now I'm going to kill you with the power of my magic. Voila! That's what you get for making me fail in Crash 1. Anyhow... I think what I'm going to do to end this part off, actually, is face off against the first two bosses of this game. So anyway, let's uh, go in here and see Coco. Or... <gasps> Shock horror! Surprised to see me crash? Like the fleas in your fur, I keep coming back. Three years I spent alone in the frozen Antarctic wastes. And I missed you. And so I've organized a little gathering, like a birthday party, except the exact opposite. And look, all of your friends are here. You are so very popular. Let's start handing out the presents. Well, Crash certainly is popular. I liked how Polar was just like with that baseball bat. I don't know if he was wearing sunglasses or anything, but... And Crunch, right there, he legitimately thought it was Crash's birthday. <laughs> now, you could spin Cortex here, but that doesn't do anything. But the boss fight here is pretty simplistic. It kind of reminds you of the uh, the classic fight that you had with Cortex. Where you spun back the uh, green plasma to Cortex. And that would, uh, well, damage him. Well, thank you, Tiny. To oh, crap. Okay, I got... No, 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 no. Okay, right. That's what I get for not paying attention. And I will certainly return it. Return to sender. Complete. I don't know why I'm sounding like a computer there, but... I was about to say it before I got blasted by Cortex. Thank you, Tiny Dingo Dow, Pinstripe, and Ripperoo for the fabulous presents. They were certainly very thoughtful gifts. Anyway, so now all the, the platforms are bombed... Are bombed pretty much. Now, apparently, you could double jump, like, right here, and you'll still... He won't hit you, I think. But what I was going to say earlier about this game and what I like best about it is the soundtrack. The instrumentation is all a cappella, 
And that's Cortex finished off, but is it over yet? Of course it isn't. But all of the the instruments, including the drums, uh, the uh, the instruments you may think sound like the drums, are all sung. And honestly, Spiral Mouth, you are legends. The soundtrack here is just gorgeous. Now, Mecha Bandicoot. This is the second boss. And basically what you do is the green plaza again damages to the boss. Pretty much uh, the simple stuff. You're a terrible engine. <laughs> Did you see that? The missiles went right outside where I was. But anyway, yeah, th this is... Uh, it's going very well so far. Right, I'm going to get rid of that missile armor. I'm going to like hit it a bit and see if it actually tries to hit me. There we go. I actually did engine in the favor. I made this missile arm work, and now it's not working. Now he's angry. And this is what happens here. Now, it may try to trick the player here, especially on this last hit, because you never know when he's going to just, like, like fire that green plaza at you. That's what confused me as a child at first. Like, I knew he was going to hold on to it for such a long time, but I never knew when he was going to fire it. But anyway, here's uh, the next cutscene here. And that will be an excellent cliffhanger there. Cortex and Crash fight to the bitter death, but who will win? There can be only one. But anyway, <laughs> that's I'm actually going to end it right here, guys. I think this is the appropriate time to end this. Now, before I end it off, I'm going to show you what the gems unlock. So you've got blue gem extras. So what you've got here is you've got boss galleries for the blue gems. The clear gems, you've got movies. Green gems, you've got enemy galleries. Purple gems, you've got concept galleries. The red gem you got, what well, insanity? I think. Let me just have a look at this. Oh, it's actual like sketches of the islands. Very nice. And the yellow gems, unseen gallery. So this must have been uh, things that were cut off, or well, pictures that were or concept art that didn't make it into the game. Oh, look how adorable they are! Don't you think they look cute? Anyway. So that was, uh, I think I'm going to end it off on here, guys, in this first part of Crash to Insanity. Please feel free to like if you enjoyed. Comment down below for your thoughts. And oh, no, don't disturb the cliffhanger. Leave it. Leave it till next week. Actually, no. You know, you know what? Resume the cliffhanger for a bit. You know why? Because I need to save my progress. Oh, now the cliffhanger truly begins. Cortex is face playing Crash, but who will win? But anyway. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching, guys. Please feel free to like if you enjoyed. Comment down below for your thoughts. And also, please feel free to subscribe to my channel as well for more Crash to Insanity coming up in the future. Because I know that this game is very popular in the Crash Bandicoot series, and I can see why it is. The humour, the soundtrack, the gameplay, like, it's amazing. It is. I, I, I just really love this game, and I'm, I'm so excited to be showing it off for you guys. I really am. So thank you all very much for watching. This has been Kleiner Gaming here signing off. Hope you all have a great day wherever you are, and I shall speak to you later. Until then, goodbye. I'm going to have to cut here. I'm going to have to kill myself here. Right, yeah, I had to do that. Okay, right, yeah, but now we'll show this again, okay. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. My duty is to protect you. You may summon me by breaking open these crates. Call me thrice, and I shall grant you special powers. I just thought I'd do that impression, but anyway, right.